Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of I Am Penge and it's time for some more YouTubers live Omga and everyone for some reason has crowded into the door of our mansion. <laughs> I don't know why, they're all doing the conga. Maybe they're all doing the conga, they've been out drinking or something, I don't know. So last time out, the big news really, the big exciting news was that in-game Penge finally got married. He finally got married to Maria or however you're supposed to pronounce her name, there she is. Is. So we got married, which is lovely. So there she is, Maria, level 28. She's a party animal and she loves gaming. And in terms of her actual skills, she is absolutely amazing. She is four off of perfection. If she had four more in scripting, she would have 100 on everything. Now, the frustrating thing is, I don't think I can ask her to be a collaborator. She can collaborate in a video so I can get her to come along, but she cannot be my third sort of permanent staff member, if you like, so I can't actually get her on board, which is a bit of a shame, but there we go, never mind, so we can't get her on. So what we need to do is, we need to keep churning out videos. However, there might be a little bit of an issue because we've got ourselves into the big network. We're in the wide bands network and they've come up with this thing that says, to ensure your permanence in the network, do four assignments this month. Now, we've done one, job's done, one. It did take a little while for those assignments to appear. Now let's have a look on the board just here, if there are enough for us to do. There's only one more to do. So I don't really know how we're supposed to complete four assignments when they don't really give us enough assignments. I'm not entirely sure. So we're not going to succeed with that. Now does that mean that we just get booted out straight away? Are they just, is the network gonna go, actually, uh, no, clear off, get out. You're on your ear, clear off, bye-bye now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen. So we shall have to wait and see. Now the weird thing is, the weird thing is, we still have this goal just here. This is in-game Penge's personal goal because in-game Penge has a little sort of personal goal of his own. He is a romantic, that's his personality. His lifelong dream is to find a special person that makes them whole and won't stop until they find them. Your soulmate is waiting for you, yes indeed. And he's found his soulmate in Maria because they're married. There was a very lavish wedding and everything. However, we still do have this goal down here, searching for love. You don't settle with the first person you see. Ask a certain amount of people on a date and try and find your soulmate. So this thing is trying to make me go on a date, even though now I am married. So something has gone a little bit wobbly with the game here. I've kind of broken the game. I do apologize, game. Now let's just get on with this, shall we? Let's just move things on. Um, what was everybody doing? Also, we could do with getting our extra collaborator in. We could do with finding somebody. However, they're probably going to need somewhere to work. So let's get ourselves a new PC in, and this PC, yes, it's lovely. I mean, it's a basic PC, you know, it will work. It's gonna be terrible, isn't it? So we need to upgrade that thing. So let's go and do some upgrading on that. I found a, p a piece of beautiful clothes for you, and I could not resist a piece of beautiful clothes. What, like a pocket or something, or a little sort of torn off patch? Okay, have you bought me a new outfit, Maria? Oh, that's very kind. She's bought me a new thing. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, thank you. That That's very lovely of you. Thank you very much. I uh, probably won't wear it, but never mind. So we need to upgrade that computer. However, you two can go and do some stuff. Um, you two go and make some videos. Go and do some stuff. I can't remember what you were doing, but we have two of these things. Ah, that was it, of course. We have Mystical Walrus and Shrunken Bedtime Beatdown, which a few people thought was a very funny name last time, and I agree. Um, so uh, you can go and do Mystical Walrus. Um, ah, that was when we had to do the walkthrough. That was one where we did the walkthrough for the network. Okay, that's fine. We'll do another gameplay video of that. We'll do a gameplay video and you there, um, Dominic? Dominic, why can't you make a video, Dominic? What's going on there? Why can't Dominic make a video? That option didn't come up. Um, you can use <laughs> five power, yay. Um, you can use that one. And that all looks like it's set up just about. So yes, please, you go and do that. Right, Dominic. Dominic, Dominic, Dominic. Oh, there you go. Maybe it just wasn't quite happy with things at that moment in time. You can go and do Shrunken Bedtime Beatdown and you can do a first impressions video of that game because nothing's happened yet. And I think it's only just come out May the 12th. I think it's near the end of May. So yeah, so it's not been out that long. So you go and do that on the big computer. Why the heck not? You go and use that one. Uh, is that all set up right? Yes, it looks it. So yeah, you go and do that. And then that means that in-game Penge can wander over to here and start upgrading this machine. Now we've got 15,000 money, so that's absolutely fine. $15,000. 
is good. Oh, where's she going? Oh, she's having to go on the PC as well. Right, let's upgrade this machine. There we go. <laughs> we need to make it not utterly terrible. We might as well make it vaguely usable. And then we need to work on getting a new person in as well. Oh, oh, did I just buy myself a new phone? I may well have just bought myself a new phone as well. Yay for the new phone. Also, I think now we're in the mansion, we've got a whole load of new options. We've got all these new things that we can buy from Idea. So I don't know, should we treat ourselves to something? I don't want to spend sort of 1,400 on something, but I mean, I don't mind a Zen garden. Oh yes, we'll buy ourselves a little Zen garden and go and do some chilling. Yes, please, we'll have that. We'll have a small CD shelf because that's all nice stuff. And then let's buy one of these. A water dispenser sounds like a very boring thing to go and buy. How about a boat model? Why not, eh? $275 on a boat model, yes. I'd love to get all of these things purchased, if I'm completely honest. I bet that's utterly, utterly extortionate. A pool table, oh yes indeed. We could do with one of those for no discernible reason. Um, eat wall letters, no thanks, I'm okay. You know what, we'll buy those. We'll click those. Right, is there anything that's cheap? If it's anything under $100, I will get it. A green carpet. Who doesn't want a green carpet in their house? Is there anything else that's under $100? Because I'm going to buy it if it is. Uh, no. Do you know what? Let's buy a board game as well. Let's buy uh, the, J <laughs> the Jumanju board game as well. There we go. <laughs> I bought as a Jamanju board game. Right, now we've got to wait for all those things to get delivered. Um, in the meantime, while that's happening, let's go to our phone. Let's do a camera thing. Um, and we'll take a picture of me. Yeah, we go. I'm in a boring room. Yeah, right. Send it. Yes. Hopefully that'll top that up quite nicely. And I will also do a pip thing. Uh, publish a message. Uh, let's just pick one of the ones at the end now. Um, global what? in-game pench you're talking nonsense global warming is not hoax you are a fool hello beautifuls that'll do i'm not sending the other thing that's nonsense right and then we've got to open all these boxes to get all our deliveries in so let's just keep clicking these things now i know you're all wondering so uh here it is everyone here's the green carpet i would say this is not a carpet i would say it's a rug but there we go a little tiny sort of green it's more like a towel it's more just like someone's just left a towel on the floor. And it's not level again. What's going on with the placement of this? Who decides this? Is this Feng Shui or something? Because that's really irritating. It, it's not my Feng Shui. I'd have that nice and level with things. That is just, that's very poorly placed. And our people have finished their video, so let's take a look at your one. Hopefully it's good. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, Hannah is becoming absolutely brilliant at doing this stuff. So yes, we'll have that. And this one, so this is our first first impressions that we've ever done. And um, yeah, there you go. Game popularity, 100. Console popularity is a little bit less, but okay, fine. We'll publish that. Hopefully that will be very popular as well. So they've both got to render. While that's going on, why don't we just go and upgrade this machine again? I'd love it if you didn't have to click the boxes. Clicking the boxes that arrive is a little bit of a distraction. I don't really know why it can't just sort of get delivered straight in and just upgrade itself, but never mind. So there we go. Now I've got to click all these bits. So let's upgrade this machine further. And whilst those videos are uploading, we shall set our people to do some more because it brings in all the good stuff. So yes, you can go and do Mystical Walrus again. Go and do another gameplay video of it, please, Hannah. And then Dominic, I think Dominic's just left the building. We'll get him back and he can do another video on the other thing he was doing. So um, yeah, you can do that on number one. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever. Go and do the stuff. Uh, right, when does, when's Dominic going to come back? Also, the deadline is approaching where we might possibly get booted out of the next network but never mind we'll have to just deal with it as it happens we're going to moderate some comments dominic has come back hello dominic can you please make a video on uh shrunken bedtime beatdown oh oh and the first impressions was massively unpopular okay let's just do a gameplay of that let's just stick to what we know <laughs> let's just stick to the good stuff we know what we're doing with that you can go and use that machine absolutely we've got to open all these things in-game penge is replying to comments it's all looking good yeah that first impressions video really is not popular maybe it's because the game has been out for quite some time and i've missed the boat for that i'm not entirely sure but yeah it's it's very much unpopular ah right okay so they did not kick us out, although I think we might have possibly got a bit of a slap on the wrist. So you spent some days on network, you already know the requirements to be part of it. Now we are seriously starting and you should fulfill them by the end of each month if you don't want to quit the network. Well, I don't want to quit. I feel you might boot me out, but you know, it's slightly different. We trust you. Oh, thank you. And now 
we have to reach 300,000 views, which seems a little bit of a ludicrous change of demand, to be perfectly honest, because these two videos are going to reach 300,000 views <laughs> and more. So um, that is very easy. So we don't need to worry about this. That'll just happen. That will just happen by virtue of playing the game. So, okay, lovely, lovely. In-game Penge having a little bit of a rest. That's all fine right now. I'm not too bothered about that. They both finished their thing. So let's have a look. Mystical Warus, I'm sure it's going to be fine. Yeah, lovely. Publish that. And you do this video. Is it going to be a good video? Yeah, hopefully it is. Hopefully it'll be well received. Okay, so there, that's gone out. These two are going to render. Um, have we not got the other one? Where's the other one then? Hang on, has the other one finished already? Maybe the other one has finished. <laughs> Maybe the uh, first impressions video has already come to an end. I didn't see it kind of ping down tier. But there we go. Right, now in-game Penge, uh, he's currently making his bed. <laughs> That's very good. You're doing a course. So you just get on with doing the course if you'd be so kind. I want you to finish this. I just want that done and out of the way. And then once those have rendered, we are just going to do more of the same with those two. With our two collaborators here, we're just going to churn out more of these videos. Hurrah! In-game Penge has finished his course and much video quality has gone up. Still not great at sound or performance or scripting. So, you know, three of the five things we're not very good at, but we're quite good at video editing, apparently, and we're okay at video quality, which surely we have no real control over. Surely video quality is the quality of the camera we've got and the, yeah, the direction we're pointing it in. If it's pointing at us, surely more or less video quality is okay. But fine, okie doke. Right, so we've done that. Um, they have also done some games. I might have made a little bit of a boo-boo. I told them both to do gameplay videos of the same game. But that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I'm not too bothered about that. Now, what we do need to do now is we need to look at how we can... Oh, we finished our 300k... Um, views for the network as well. Brilliant. So that's something we don't need to worry about for the entire month. Marvellous. So we need to look at now getting another person in. So who do we know that might join us that um, that could, uh, that's good, that's good at actually doing youtube -y things. So let's have a look. Joshua, are you good? No. <laughs> no, Joshua, you are not. Um, Maria, I don't think she can join us. I'm fairly certain. Marie, she's level 28. Could we summon Marie? and get her to join us. Oh, look at that. She's my special friend. Maria, uh, nothing happened between us. Um, Aiden could possibly join as well. Ah, oh my goodness me. Let's invite Aiden round. Oh, Aiden's remarkable. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get Aiden round. Hi, Aiden. Please join us. Hello, how are you? Uh, can I hire you? Even though you probably got your own YouTube channel, I'd like to hire you, please. Absolutely. 571 a month. Oh my goodness me. The only thing is, you have a lifestyle channel, which is not necessarily what we're all about. So you, we're going to be doing lovely gaming, and you might go and do some lifestyle stuff. Now, is, is that what we want? Do we want a lifestyle person? I don't think we do. Hang on. I need to possibly check that. I didn't really think about that. <laughs> I didn't look at that, did I? Let's see who else could come around. Right, Marie, your lifestyle... Um, have we got anyone else that likes us? Hannah and Dominic are obviously on board already. Um, Joshua, you don't have any skills at all, Joshua. I don't know why you're there. I don't know why you're there, Joshua. You must have talked at some point, and now you're just sort of clinging on to my, you know, my fame and glory, <laughs> you hanger on. Um, yeah. Do we get them on board? Do we get Aiden on board? And if we, if we do get him on board, will he make the right sort of videos? Or is he going to try and make lifestyle videos, which is going to be very confusing? Do you know what? Let's give it a go, shall we? Let's just see what happens. If not, we can just fire him. So hire a collaborator. Um, yeah, let's sign you. You can't hire... Ah, you can't hire them because their videos don't suit your channel. Okay, right. That makes perfect sense. Yes, he does lifestyle. We do computer -y gaming. They cannot mix. Right, okie doke. At least we've cleared that up. What we might need to do is we might need to go to an event. If we go to an event, we might well meet other gaming people and then we could befriend them and then ask them to join us. So let's see if there's any events because the network do like it when we go to these as well. So that is a presentation of the video game Forgotten Night. Again, in, you know, in terms of the game names that YouTubers Life Omga produces, that's a little bit disappointing, if I'm completely honest. There's been some absolutely majestic names. That is not one of them. That will be quickly forgotten in the night. That's just rubbish. So, um, yeah, okay, for the Samsung, the Samsung Space Tab device. Do you know what? 
Yeah, okay, let's go to that. Let's do that. Oh, it's right now. Okay, in-game pens, run, 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 run. Okay, go to the event. Uh, you've got enough uh, sort of rest and energy and stuff to go and talk to people. So, right, off you trot. I also realised that I just invited that fella to my house and then he came to the door and said, hi, how are you? And then I just sort of ignored him and wandered out. <laughs> <laughs> well done, in-game Penge. That's some good manners. Also, this person has amazing hair. Okay, I've blagged myself the game, so I've got the game for free, which is fine. We probably won't play it, but never mind. We can sell it and make a tiny bit of money. I'm looking through all of the people that are here, and pretty much no one is a gamer. There are no gamer people at all around the place. You, what about you? Your lifestyle. There's lifestyle. There's cooking. There's fashion and all sorts. Oh, oh, is that Hannah? Oh, hello, Hannah. How are you? <laughs> Thank you for coming along. Um, yeah, you're no good. What about you? You're a lifestyle person. Why are all you lot here at, at a gaming sort of thing? We just saw a game being presented. Why are there fashion people here? Why are there no gaming people? Anyway, cooking, why are you here? It's nothing to do with cooking at all. That doesn't make any sense. Music, so there's not one other gaming person here, except possibly the people with the arrows above their heads. The arrows, the exclamation marks above their heads. Let's go and talk to you. What do you want? What is, what is your desire? Greetings, are you Pench? I've heard you record good videos. Could you record a video of a game and upload it? I'll send you the game. Now, that implies to me that you're a gaming person. But are you really a gaming person? I do not know. I'm not entirely sure. Now, if I say OK, and then the game is terrible, then that's going to impact me. So I'm going to say no, thank you. But then the annoying thing is, I can't see her profile. So I don't really know... How on earth I'm supposed to find another collaborator if when I come to one of these events, nobody plays games at a thing that's about the publish, yeah, the launch of a video game. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. Do you know what I will do though? I'll take a selfie. There we go. That should top up the publications thing quite nicely because I think that it goes up more when you're at events rather than if you're just at your house. Right, let's pose for press and let's, let's just go home. Let's go home. This was a total, total disaster. It'll give us some XP and it means that the network are a little bit happier with us because we've t you know, turned up to one of their events. But in terms of actually finding a collaborator, that did not work. Okay, we've got another email from somebody saying that my room looks empty. I have some things that would fit your flow, whatever the heck that means. I'd sell some of them for $50. Cool, okay. So, a tree's vinyl. Is that a record of some sort, or is it a tree made from vinyl? I'm not entirely sure. From an absolute stranger for $50. Was it worth it? Probably, because I don't really care about the monies. I don't care about the tree's vinyl, but the XP gives us a huge boost, and we get 10% extra subscribers because we bought something from a randomer. We get ourselves an extra 10% subscribers, which is a massive number. When you've got 1.2 million, 10% is an awful lot of extra subscribers for $50. So that works out pretty Pretty well. Whenever those emails come up, then it's always an immediate yes. It's a yes, please. Um, we don't need to do any of those. Oh, now look, th this is much better. This is a brilliant game name. Frank <laughs> Frankenstein's Weight Loss. Oh, that is exceptional. That's brilliant. I mean, he could. I mean, it's Frankenstein, maybe, to sort out his weight loss. He just, you know, detaches his arm and then finds a slightly sort of smaller arm and puts that on. I don't know. Maybe that's what the game is all about. That, that is a much better game name. Well done, YouTuber's Life, Omga. You are back on form. I think what we might need to do to find ourselves a decent collaborator is look at these people here and then sort of draft one of those in. So currently, Hannah has more, she's you know, the 49th best YouTuber in the world, or YouTuber, compared to us in 50th. That doesn't make any sense. When does Hannah find the time to go and make videos? I don't get it. But she's got 24 million views as opposed to our 22 million. Also, Dominic, who also works for us, he's got more views than us. I don't understand. I don't understand how this works. So we need to find another gaming person. So you're, what are you, that cooking? I've no idea what that is. Fashion, possibly cooking, lifestyle music are there any gaming people hello oh there you go augustus the marked tuber oh that sounds very moody 27 million views do we get augustus on board or do we get some other people so right augustus how good are you oh my word you are absolutely remarkably brilliant and um yeah you're a stranger at the moment that's fine do we get you in level 28 yes do you know what let's just get an extra person in Let's just get you in. Let's invite Augustus over, purely at random. He must be like, hello, what, what do you want? 
Thanks for inviting me. How are you? I also have a great big mansion. How are you, darling? I wanted to see you. Are you getting jealous of Augustus? Don't worry about it. It's all fine. Right. I'm just going to have a chat with you. For your profile, gaming and being a genius. Okay. Let's talk about games. That might be a good idea. Let's go and talk about games for a bit. And we'll see if we can get him up to sort of acquaintance level. And then we'll see when we can ask him to actually join our cause. Because these two are just merrily chit-chatting away. I'm just queuing up all sorts of topics for them to talk about. And the other two folks, the actual collaborators, are getting on with some work. So let's see how well they're actually doing. So hopefully this is very good. We're going to need to get some new games soon at some point. But yes, we're producing some very, very good things indeed. It's still a very popular game. So okay, we'll go for that. Thank you. Let's just queue up another topic for you. Let's talk about YouTube. Why not? Let's see what you think about YouTube. Hannah didn't quite finish hers. Possibly need to speak to Maria as well. I'm sure you'll make a living from your channel eventually. He says to a man who's in a mansion. <laughs> yes, I'm sure I'll muddle through, you silly person. However, this might push us over the 100 into a friend. Hey, right. Now, hi, you as a collaborator. 571 a month. Augustus is going to join the crew. He's better than all of the other ones, it seems. Yes, he's going to be our best person. We will sign you for, ah, oh, whatever, six months. Yes, absolutely. Join us, Augustus. There you go. So we have to do this. Then we have to shake hands. Got to go and do business. And now you're a collaborator. Oh, there you go. They're doing some sort of, I don't know what that was, weird stuff. And now he's decided to abandon his own channel and just join us, which I do think is rather odd. He's just sort of gone, do you know what? I had a very successful channel. Yeah, I'm sure you'll make it as a big YouTuber one day with your swimming pool and your gigantic house. You want me to join you? Sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, small fry. I'll, I'll drop my dreams to join you. So there we go. He is on board. Now we need to start doing some stuff. We need to get that machine upgraded a bit more. We could do with upgrading a lot of the other machines as well. We might need a little bit where we're just sort of uh, not doing anything on any of the computers. So let's start working on... Well, let's get this one working first. Let's go and upgrade that one, please. Okay, that's that one done. Now let's go and start upgrading all of the other ones. It's a shame you can't order upgrades for other computers from the one computer. But there you go. So you have to go to each one to upgrade them individually. But right you are. So now let's upgrade this one. Now that's quite good. Some money just came in, which is lovely. 1360 for a yellow fighter case. I don't know who it's fighting. Gaming fighter keyboard. Okie doke. We've got some sort of fighty equipment going on. We've got a fighty mouse as well. I do not know. But let's go and upgrade all of the machines. We should have enough money. It's only the start of June. It's the start of June. So by the end of June, we should have enough money to pay the rent and everyone's wages and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's go and upgrade all the computers to the maximum things that they can have. Okay, turns out upgrading all the computers to have the best that everything can have is very expensive. So we might not have enough money to do all of the computers, but we do have a massive load of upgrades ordered, which is lovely. Now that does mean that we need to get some money in. So let's get our now three collaborators to go and do some stuff. Hannah has done one thing already. So Mystical Walrus is looking okay. Game popularity is coming down a little bit, but okie doke. So we'll have that. Lovely. That can then render. So now... I think we might need to buy some new games. Let's go and get some new games. We've got enough money to buy a couple of new games. So let's see what we can do. So, uh, right, amazing on. Let's go for PC games. Um, so let's have a look at what there is. Muppet... <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, this game is back on form. Muppet Valkyrie Fiesta is looking very good. Hang on, what about latest releases, actually? Um, let <laughs> Hang on, what is it? Latino Hamster The Dark Descent. Oh, I want Latino Hamster The Dark Descent. I was looking for new games to play, to do a first sort of impressions video on, but they're either very, very terrible or not that new. So, for example, that one there, I'd love to get Muppet Valkyrie Fiesta, but um, it came out a little while ago, so that's going to be no good, is it? That's going to be no good. We could, we could get something for... What's the latest release of anything that we've got that's good? Um, electric robot for whatever that thing is. The, the Z. I don't know what that is. We could do that. The Z box 360 though. Really? Do people even still play on that? Hang on. Hang on. Let's go back. Let's look at all consoles. Have we got all of the consoles? Right. What's the most popular one? Let's just have a quick look. So the Honey Play Studios 3 still has the most market share. Really? I would have thought the 4s and the 1s would have come up by now. So if we can find a game for the Honey Play Studios 3, that would be great. 
So what does that look like? That's the Z box. What does the Play Studios 3 logo look like? I'm not entirely sure. They all seem to be for the Z box. Oh my goodness me, there. PS3, and it's terrible. It's really, really awful. The Castle of Spork. <laughs> I want to play the Castle of Spork. It sounds brilliant. Or Supreme Chicken. I want to know, I mean, does he fight other inferior chickens? I do not know. Um, Let's get Electric Robot for the Zbox 360. That can be our first impressions video. It's not the most popular of games, but it's very well received. And it's 35 minutes, which is absolutely nothing now for us. So we'll have that. Um, and so we'll grab that for one of them to do a first impressions video. And then I want to do PC games, the best rated PC games. Right, Virtual Monkey came out a little while ago. Yeah, the popularity of that is um, is coming down. Team Landmine. Okay, intriguing. <laughs> How about we do Team Landmine and let's get this because that's relatively new. Muppet Valkyrie Fiesta. Let's get that as well. Absolutely. Let's just get some new games. Now, the only thing is, because we've ordered so many things, it's going to take an absolute age for those games to arrive because we've ordered so many things, monitors and mice and PC upgrades and all that kind of stuff. So we might be waiting for quite some time. Oh, also, in-game Penge is having a little bit of a, a little bit of a moment. He needs to eat something. Have a sandwich in-game Penge. I like how nobody else eats, by the way. That's a good thing as well. <laughs> it's just you. It's just you in-game Penge with your needs for, you know, sleep and food. So whilst in-game Penge has a little lie down and all these things get delivered, we're going to get Dominic to do one video on the games that we've already got on, sh what was it? Shrunken Bedtime Beatdown. And then let's get the new guy in. Let's get the new guy to make a video upon Mystical Walrus. So we've got one walkthrough currently going through the motions. Let's do, let's do another walkthrough and then maybe a speed run at the end to see if that works. So let's do a walkthrough of that, please, new guy. Let's see how good you actually are. Hopefully you should be able to produce something quite special indeed. Right, okay, yes, you can go on that PC. It's probably not the best, but, you know, we're upgrading them. They're being upgraded as we speak. So now it's just a case of clicking these boxes until everything arrives. The games are probably going to arrive at the very end. Hi, I've bought you a surprise. Oh, that's marvellous. I think it did just cost me $170. Was that the surprise? <laughs> <laughs> I've just spent $170 of your money. Oh, hang on. I should possibly go and speak to her then. Hello. Can I have my surprise, please? Uh, let's go and have a hug, actually. Maria, wife of mine. Let's go and have a little hug while all these gifts mysteriously place themselves in the right places. Oh, I think she got me the Monopoly board game. I think that is what she got me. Oh, that's very kind. Thank you, Maria. That is lovely. Ah, okay, right. Stuff is done. So... Let's have a look at this. This should be nice and good. Game is still very popular. Yep, okay, publish that, absolutely. And you, new guy, how well did you do? Okay, that's really good. <laughs> well done you, you big show off. You realize your last audio has a bad audio segment. Let's fix it. So yeah, it wears us out. It makes us hungry, it wears us out, but we do get a big boost of subscribers and we become a little bit happier, although I don't think we were sad anyway. So now, in-game Penge is hungry yet again. It might be time to go and have a burger and then maybe have some energy drink as well. Maybe have a burger, have some energy drink to top that up and then we'll see where we are. Although, to be fair, no, you could go and have a sleep, actually. Go and do that. So you're eating a burger. Very nice. What? Hang on, did I tell you to eat two things? I don't remember telling you to eat two things. Okay, fine. He's just eating something extra. He's having dessert. And then if he goes to have a sleep... Oh, Dominic's very tired. Dominic is exhausted. He's trudging away <laughs> to go do some of his own YouTube videos, possibly. I don't know. So in-game Penge is going to have a little sit down. And now, in-game Penge, you could do with actually going to moderate some comments on these things. That would be very helpful. So yeah, cancel sleeping. No more sleeping. Sleeping is now banned in-game Penge. But we could do with you doing all the comments on these. Right, and now everybody is back. All the collaborators are in and they're just sort of wandering about. None of them are doing any work. So while in-game Penge moderates comments, let's get... I'd like it if you moderated comments on the rubbishy PC because I want to actually get these guys to use the good PCs to do some videos. Do you know what? Let's wait until he's finished replying to this, like, this one sort of set of comments. There we go. And marvellous. Okay, so he's not using that machine. In-game Penge, wander over there. In fact, go and, and give your wife a little kiss. Go and say it. It's a little good morning. Oh, no, she's just walked out the building. Don't do that. <laughs> it's fine. The thought of having a kiss with in-game Penge was, it was too much for her to bear. So she's wandered off. That's fine. So now, let's get you to do some things on this. So you, 
make a video on that thing. Which one was it? Electric Robot, June the 7th. Do first impressions on Electric Robot, please. Because it's not been out that long. So you can go and do that. And you can have... What an Earth screen is that? Is that a new screen that we've ordered? It looks terrible. So you can do that on there. HD Cam Fighter. I mean, it looks like a minion, but okay, that's fine. 4K? Oh, yes, we'll absolutely record in 4K for no real reason. Um, and then we'll have all that stuff. Yes, please. You go and do that. And now, Dominic, you can make a video on... What should we get you to do? I mean, shrunken... These things are still really popular. All of these things are very, very popular indeed. We're at Shrunken Bedtime Beatdown. Let's do one last... Um, that's not as popular. Let's do a speed run. Do a speed run on that and see if that works well. So that machine is currently very much occupied, I think. Go to that one. So that one's not been upgraded quite as much. I don't want monodirectional, I want omnidirectional. Okay, so yes, you do a speed run on that. And then Hannah, you make a video on um, Mystical Walrus, because that still seems to be quite popular as well. So the walkthroughs are not as popular. Yeah, you do a speed run as well. Absolutely. Let's do a couple of different things. A first impressions and a couple of speed runs. That makes it a little bit varied, doesn't it? Um, yeah, you've got the 4K, noise reduction, omnidirectional, station three. Yeah, okay, absolutely. Right, everyone go and do lots of stuff. Meanwhile, in-game Penge is just going to, I don't know what he's going to do. He's just going to sort of sit about for a bit and just uh, not do very much. Do you know what he's going to do? He's going to upgrade the new PC. The new PC needs very much upgrading. So let's get on with that, shall we? We should be able to afford all this stuff. It's when you get into the realms of the other computers that things get very expensive. But look at that. An Alien Neo wireless keyboard, $235. Everything is relatively affordable right now. So let's upgrade the new but not very good PC. And everyone has finished their work. This is very good. So you there, Hannah, what did you do with your speed run? Was it well received? I think it was. Mystical Walrus coming down a little bit in popularity. But okay, right. Publish that. Okay, Dominic, did you do okay on your speed run? Yes, you really did. That is remarkable as well. That's very encouraging. And new guy, I can't remember the name of. Let's call him Bernard for now. Bernard, how did your one go? You're just showing off now, Bernard. <laughs> you massive show off. Okay, electric robot first impressions. That is going to be a huge video, I think. That is going to be very, very popular indeed. So once they've all rendered, we are going to promote that one. We're going to promote Electric Robot because I think that could bring in a massive pile of views and subscribers and money and everything. So uh, in-game bench currently replying to some comments. Right, lurk around near the machine in-game bench. Just sort of sit about for a bit. And then when they all upload, which will not take long at all because it's nice and fast. There we go. Right, that's ready to publish. Let's moderate the comments on that one. And then when you've moderated the comments on that, we shall then, in fact, we can promote it right now. And let's promote it there, the big expensive one, RefLink. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to press the button and it's done the thing. Yay. The others can just go as normal. In fact, we might promote them both, but with the lower sort of promotion things, just to make it a bit more affordable. So, um, yeah, we'll moderate the comments on that one and we'll promote that with spread the word. And we'll promote that with spread the word as well. Why not? Let's give them a little bit of a nudge up the sort of, uh, you know, up, up their views and hopefully bring in more subscribers as well. While those videos are going through the motions, I guess we could go and attend one of these things. We've either got a choice. There's a choice of Masters of Janitor, which sounds intriguing. Can you master the mop? Can you master the broom? Uh, Honey PlayStation's uh, PlayStation. Sorry, of course, that's not a PlayStation. It's legally different. Uh, Honey Play Studios 4. Okay, fine. Or Masters of the Trailer Park for the PC. We're more likely to play Masters of the Trailer Park for the PC. It gives us 1 million experience points. Let's go and do that, shall we? There's a little while for that to go. I'm intrigued to see how these videos are going to do. Oh, look at that video. That is flying. Yes, we gave it a massive boost in terms of finances, but that is doing very, very well. Right, okay. How are you, darling? I wanted to see you. Yes, hello. Right, let's go and hug you. And meanwhile, everyone else can carry on doing some work again. So you... Make a video. Let's just queue everyone up to do some more stuff. Okay, I think Shrunken Bedtime Beatdown, it's still very popular, but I think it might possibly have come to an end for us. I don't think we need to do any more of that. So how about we go and do something else here? So Team Landmine. Let's do some gameplays of Team Landmine with Dominic. 
So you can just have, we'll just put them in sequence as well. You can have station number one, which has not been properly upgraded yet. It's not been fully upgraded. We need some more money to do that. And then you, new guy, you were doing the thing, electric robot on the 360. You can carry on doing that. Yo, look at that. That was very popular. So yeah, you do some gameplay on that one, if you would be so kind. And we'll have that on machine number two with all the stuff. Although why that keeps changing, I don't know. Uh, yep, automatic, yes, please. And then Hannah, I'll wait until my partner has finished the video. What are you waiting for, Hannah? What are you waiting for? You're not doing anything. I've not told you to do anything yet, have I? Make a video. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Okay, fine. You can make a video on Muppet Valkyrie Fiesta. Mystical Warus is coming to its sort of end of interest. Can we sell that? No, it's got a video on it. You can go and do um, May the 15th. First impressions will not be good for that because it's the middle of June, I believe. So yeah, okay, go and do a gameplay of that as well. You've got the third PC in line, which is yeah still pretty good. That's okay. Right, automatic. Everyone's doing stuff. In-game Penge is currently having a little bit of a hug. That's fine. We'll leave you to it, in-game Penge. And then very soon he's going to go off to do uh, to attend a presentation thingamajigger. Oh, and joy of joys, we have leapfrogged Hannah. We've leapfrogged our own collaborator and we're now in 49th place of all of the YouTubers in the world rather than a 50th place. So my two collaborators are 51st and 50th. Oh no, I've got three. And where's the other guy? Where's the other guy? Um, where, there, where were you? Hang on, I'll go there. And you're 40th. Okay, but now yeah, you're coming down because presumably you're spending less time on your channel and more time on mine. But there we go. So um, yeah, we're, we're slowly making our way up. Get another couple of million views. We could work our way up to there. So what do we need to get? What's the number one? The number one is 35 million views and 2 million subscribers. Now we're on 1.3 million subscribers and we're nearly on 25 million views. So that's not actually that far away. That's not that distant a possibility. Ah, and it's time for us to attend the event. Just as all those videos were complete, the uh, sort of uh, attendance thing came up. So here we are, Masters of the Trailer Park. It looks mighty glorious. It's the person with some more impressive hair. Well done, you and your impressive hair. Right, let's get through this, shall we? Okay, I've grabbed a copy of the game. I've taken a selfie to top up the sort of publications bar. Let's do this bit. Let's have some pictures of us for the press. That might push us up a little bit closer. Let's have a look how much that moves us. Oh my goodness me. That nearly put us to level 30. And now let's go back home. We've got the event bar topped up. Publications is topped up. There's no reason to stay around. We got a free copy of the game. There you go. Thank you for attending the thing. Very good. Right. And we've gone to level 30. Oh, this is marvellous. I bought you a surprise. Oh my goodness. What could it be? So what was that? Hang on. That is the game. So now the surprise should be this. And what surprise is it? What surprise did you buy me? A runner figurine. This video is intended but too short. Could the next one be a little longer? Of course. Yeah. Subscribe an extra 10%. Marvellous. So we've now got almost one and a half million subscribers. Wow. And now we need to go through all these things. So let's have a look at the videos. Muppet Valkyrie Fiesta. Yeah. Very, very good indeed. Thank you. That one, whatever that was, Team team Landmine. Okay, very good as well. And the third one was Electric Robot Gameplay. Yeah, from the show off. There we go. He's got 100 and everything. He's, he's just amazing. And we have leveled up. So what does that give us? Yay, some more clothing, some more light bulbs, more home decor items that I don't want to buy and that I can't afford. Marvellous. Oh, and we have just jumped somewhat majestically into 38th place which I don't fully understand because we have the same amount of subscribers as the people around us, but less views. So we've got 26 million views as opposed to Aiden's, uh, no, sorry, Lincoln's 30 million. Yet we're above Lincoln. I don't understand. Is it to do with levels? Lincoln, what level are you? 28 and we're 30. Well, why weren't we above you before? I don't understand. I don't understand how that works, but you know what? Never mind. I'm not going to pretend to understand it either. Right, let's get these videos rendered. That should not take too long because we've got some quite lovely computers around. And then we'll moderate some comments. We might, do you know what? I'm going to promote them all with the fancy stuff. We've got 13 and a half grand. So let's promote these things with the top promotey thing. Also, this machine can be upgraded. So let's go over to this one and do some upgrading of it as well.
Okay, so all the bits for that are ordered. And now let's promote this and let's just do the 600 each time. Let's just absolutely maximize what we can do with this. So Refling, well, that thing is not actually done yet. There we go. Oh, hang on. It's still not done. Come on. Let me promote this. Is it because it's not out yet? Is that it? There's a lot of sad faces on that one. Why can I publish it then? Public commence publishing of this thing. Why is it waiting? There we go. Right. Promote that. There we go. Right. In-game page. Do a load of comment moderation while all these things arrive. Okay, done. So all of those videos have had their comments moderated. We have promoted the heck out of them, which is lovely. They look like they're doing very well. 437,290k. 335,000. That machine has been upgraded again. So now, whilst it might not be up to the really, really good spec of these, it's still now not terrible. It's not an awful ye olde machine from, you know, the early 2000s anymore. It's now actually got some fairly good kit with it. So that now should make it a little bit more usable. So we could now all do some videos again. So in-game Penge could actually get on with doing some videos because he's not really been doing much in the way of videoing. We could do a collaborative video with somebody I think actually is that still our best thing yeah incomprehensible night two collaboration with uh, I assume it was Dominic uh, got us 3,000 monies earned us 23,000 subscribers and got 874,000 views now I think now with the sort of numbers we've got here if I were to do a collaborative video between in-game Penge and the new guy who I can't remember the name of now what's your name new guy Bernard um, Augustus, of course it is. If uh, in-game page and Augustus did a collaborative video, I think that will be very, very good indeed. Get a new game, one that's really popular and really well received, and then promote the heck out of it as well. Make sure it's really good with a load of cards that are very, very impressive as well. And that could get well over a million views. I think we could get a million views, but we shall have a look at whether we can do that next time out. We're at a pretty good point to leave it for now. Those videos are all published. We need to queue up a load of videos for them to record next. But yes, if we're going to do a collaborative video, then we obviously want to leave uh, Augustus out of it, but the other two can get on with some work. And I think, yeah, it's just a good point to leave it. You know, it's sort of, a, it's a nice quiet moment where these videos are just gonna rack up the views and hopefully pay Pay us a big load of cash. We can do some more upgrading. Maybe we'll buy some more stuff for the house. I kind of want to get the pool table only because I think the pool table is going to go in here. Otherwise, this is a bit of a wasted room. Also, why can't we get lovely things for outside? I want to, <laughs> I want in-game Penge to go relax by the pool. Can he not get himself like a little sun lounger or something? And a, like, you know, a parasol. That would be lovely. I feel like this pool is being a little bit wasted upon our youtube -y people here, but never mind. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, then please do leave a like. That would be splendid indeed. And also, if you are not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here in YouTuber's Life Onger. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Flying rhinos are not allowed. Pink hippos are fine, but no flying rhinos. Doing that for that length of time is making me feel very uncomfortable. You're like violating me with your weird zebra eyes. Get off. Mystic. Okay, this is just an acid trip. If we can crash into a rainbow, then something is fundamentally wrong with the world. Whoa, you cheating giraffe git.